So I was just tinkering here, and what I'm doing is, is I'm getting this steel bushing out of the uh, the little Craig Mini. This was the one that was in the machine to begin with, and what I've done is tear it apart. And uh, the reason why is I'm finding it's hard to get a long hardened steel bushing, and uh, you know I can buy one of these little Craig Minis here for 20 bucks, and that gives me a 3/8 drill bit. So destroying it. Not a, not a big deal so all I did was I got my torch here and I just really got it really really hot by putting the uh, the torch just making it so it flows into this thing and just going back and forth it's this plastic it's uh, it's not really that flammable it'll burn but it takes a lot of heat to get it to burn so then you know so once I got it really heated up I just used a pair of vice grips and you can see now it will slide right out so all I'm going to do is just burn the excess plastic off of this thing and I'll clean it up a little better too um, and that's going to give me a nice long hardened steel bushing as you can see now I'm just going to have to play around and see exactly what size a hole this will take and then uh, you know that's going to enable me because what I'm tinkering around with here I'm just going to grab it is I bought one of the 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 Craig um, HD versions of the uh, of the pocket hole drill bit and you can see it's quite large and that's the same thing is it this uh, this has a nice uh, hardened steel bushing into it here and uh, and that's probably what I'm gonna do to this too I'm probably gonna cut her in half and and rob the uh, and then melt out one of these hardened steel bushings and then what I can do is I can make a new head if you've seen the pocket hole machine um, I've, I've redone it. I'll show you a view of it here. I've redone it so that I can actually replace the head in it with a head. This is with the HD unit. But what I'm finding is is that I can only get these little brass bushings and they're pretty soft. And the other thing is they're only about three quarters of an inch long. Whereas these are the ones there that came in even this little one out of the mini is a little better than an inch long. It's probably inch and a quarter or better long. So it's going to give me quite a bit more uh, room for the drill bit to slide up and down so therefore it'll make for a better unit when I put the bushing in it so this is the the head that I made for the uh, the pocket hole machine but you can see that there's quite a bit of play in this and with the the little bushing here there's hardly any so with the bushing that came with the bit so that's what I'll do to this too if this works out is I'm going to rob the bushing at it and then I can make another head with the HD unit and one with for the uh, for the, the just the three eight drill bit too, and uh, so I'm just going to grab the camera now and I'll show you the unit. It's just laying on the floor here, um, right beside. That's what I was using to prop the camera up on. So this one it works okay. There's nothing wrong with it, but I know that not everybody can get these little three eight bushings. So um, that being said, what I'm doing is trying to come up with a technique or a way that everybody's going to be able to build this unit. And that way, the way that I just described with using robbing the bushings out of the little Craig Mini uh, will work real slick. And this is a way easier unit to build than the uh, using the Craig Mini if you've been following my videos. So, um, so not that this doesn't work. This works great. But I know that the steel bushing will work better than a brass bushing. And, uh, and you guys will all be able to get it because you can just order these little kits. You can order the little kits off of eBay for like uh, you know 20 bucks I think is what I paid for the for the new Craig Mini and the uh, the drill bit came with it and if you guys don't recognize this was the unit that I used to use right here I'll just grab it and slide this in remember if you guys have seen the videos this was you know the one that used to slide one of these in but it's a nuisance to make and uh, the new one is way easier to make so you guys keep tuning in I've been pretty busy I'm working on a kitchen here and uh, and just been busy. It's been real hot here and uh, real busy, so I haven't had a lot of time to make videos. But uh, we'll try to make some, show you guys a few little things that I'm working on when as I uh, get a few minutes to tinker. So hopefully you had fun watching. Hopefully you keep tuning in, and I thank you for watching this video. So here's this thing now that I've got it cleaned up, and it was pretty easy to clean up once I, I just uh, dipped it in water to cool it off. And then I just took a knife and just scraped, and the plastic just seemed to peel right off. And uh, and then what I did was is I tried this drilling a hole uh, to see what size it was and it turns out it's just a half inch hole a half inch hole is a nice tight fit for this thing that you can tap right down in and uh, 
and then it gives you a beautiful bushing. I thought this was only a little bit better than an inch, but it's actually inch and three quarters. So my other bushings were about seven eight. So this one's twice as long, and uh, and this one is a herd and steel bushing, whereas the other one was just a brass bushing. So even looking on eBay, it was hard to find any bushings this size, and if they uh, if they did have them, they wanted big bucks for them. So uh, it's well worth the while just to buy one of these minis if you want to build that pocket hole machine that I show you is and uh, and then just melt it out and, uh, and then you got a bit and you got the herd and bushing and uh, and then you're gonna be away so uh, over the next little while here I'm gonna do some more videos I'm gonna show you the how the rest of that machines made and give you the sizes for this little head and uh, and the thing I want to know too is is how many of you guys are think you're gonna be able to you or think you're gonna want to be able to drill using this HD version uh, that Craig got. Um, this is, instead of a 3.8 drill bit, it's a half inch drill bit. Because um, what I, if, I, if you guys, if there's enough of you that want to be able to, that machine, want you want it to be able to switch over, then I do got to make a slight adjustment with it because um, with the 3.8 drill bit, I've only got to drill about, probably about, uh, I got to move the drill about an inch and a half. Well, with this HD one, I probably got to move it better than two inches. So uh, my machine, I, it was drilling it fine. I had this head in the machine and it was drilling it fine, but I'd have to make it so that the drill bit was coming out further because I was only getting it out about this far right here. And I'd like to see it come out, you know, another half an inch or three quarters of an inch. But, you know, for me, I can't see me ever using that HD unit. But if, uh, you know, that's what I want to find out what you guys think. Uh, I know going down to the micro unit would be no problem because then I don't got to move it near as far. But with going further, then, uh, then I'd have to, uh, to lengthen the machine just a little bit. But that's something for you guys to uh, let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys want the, the uh, benchtop machine able to drill using the HD bit? So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.